Mad Dog, it's Mrs. Robinson at 3624 Spruce Street. She better be dying. Hello, Mrs. Robinson. Would you like some cookies? Cookies? Yes. They were made this morning. My Harold used to love warm cookies. He'd eat them by the dozens. <laughs> Ms. Robinson, why'd you call us? Oh. I haven't been feeling well. Oh. Well, you're, you're not in any pain, are you? Oh, no. It's the little arthritis in the hip. And but I always have that. It's just one of those things about getting old. And you're not having any difficulty breathing or? Oh, no. But, uh, you can check me out if you think it would help. Oh, do stay and talk with me for a while. You don't have anywhere to be right now, do you? Let's go. My spaghetti and clam sauce is getting cold. Oh, no, dear. I'm as healthy as a horse. <laughs> About three months ago. At my age, you never know. So I always call, just in case. I really did feel a little lightheaded, but I'm much better now that you're here. BP normal. Good, good. We're almost out of here. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Do you like to play Twister? Pull socks normal. You're doing the right thing, trust me. Keeping her attention off of me. You're doing the right thing, trust me. Keeping her attention off of me. She must really be lonely to call the likes of us for company. Okay, you distract her, and I'll go start up the ambulance. I know you're busy. I know you have better things to do. But thank you for spending some time with me. Can't do much better. You really can't. I feel sorry for these old folks, all alone with all kinds of medical problems and nothing to do but sit around and think about it. Somebody ought to give her a dog or something, anything, anything to keep her mind off her problems. You gotta be nice to old folks. <laughs> We're all gonna be there someday. Respond to a bleeding pregnant woman at 2990 Mayfield Court. What kind of page was that? Bleeding pregnant woman? Have a little tact. Sorry, that's what she said. Whatever. Start time? 1410. Medic 1, out. Isn't this the blood that keeps the baby alive? Well, the doctor said that I have an abnormal placenta. Could that be what's wrong with me? None. This is my first. On and off for a few hours. I thought maybe I was having false labor. Well, I've been spotting all morning, but I pulled right away when it started bleeding like this. Well, the pain really isn't that bad. Maybe, uh, I don't know, four? My doctor warned me that I had an abnormal placenta, but he never said this would happen. Oh, you're so calm. It must be hard with all the crazy things you see. BP is low. Pulse ox is low. I can't have the baby now. It's too early.
I am completely speechless. Placenta Privia. Gotta be a scary thing for the mom. Scary for you, too, if you get behind on the IV fluids. I mean, they can bleed out right in front of you. <laughs> I've seen it happen. I hope you turn on the lights and siren. Medic, please respond to a car versus pedestrian. 12th and Walnut. We're on it. so embarrassed. Rollerblading looks so easy. I, I thought I'd give it a try. See, my husband, he's at home. Our phone number is 555-6969. Uh, this is going to seem really silly, but I'm not sure. I mean, Friday, right? Or Thursday? No, I don't think so. No. See, I was hit by a car. Patient have a pulse. Wow, I'm really impressed. I just couldn't stop. This is all my fault. That's exactly right. Good work. Your professional assessment could be saving this girl's life. Pulse ox normal. Maybe I should have practiced in the parking lot first. relax a little with such a great EMT like you on my team. That doesn't sound like she was too bad. Little IV fluids and she came around. Could have been worse, huh? But these are the ones you have to be careful about. The ones that don't look too bad at first. You think they just have minor injuries. Then all of a sudden they're not talking and their pressure's 60 and you've got a big problem. Dog, the boys at Town Park. Got it. Medic 2 over and out. I did this ollie and I came down on my foot and I busted my leg. Man, I'm not gonna be able to ride my board for a long time, huh? No. I ollied. I came down on my foot and I ate it. Dude, this is killing me. Uh, my dad's at work. I don't know the number. Uh, it's just my leg. BP normal. Are you gonna be able to fix my leg? Pull socks normal.
did a fine job of mobilizing the leg. You know what? When it came to crunch time, you really shined. One of the finest performances I've ever seen. Good job. Skateboarding is too darn dangerous. Did you ever get on one of those things? I tried once with my kid. He could do it fine, and he was only 10. Man, I took one step on that thing, and down I went. My back's never been the same. It took me three weeks before I could even stand up right. <laughs> oh, well, I guess the darn things keep us in business. Eastman, we need you to check out a domestic abuse at 5608 Wilcox. Is the scene secured? Police are on their way. Guys beating on their girls. Lovely, isn't it? God! Let me go! Let me go! Don't hurt him! He's gonna be fine. What happened to your head? Look, he didn't do anything. Where did all these bruises come from? Baby, I love you! I, I know you do! Let me stay with her! Just relax. I just want to talk with her! I should have done that earlier. Let me go! Let go of me! Where are you taking him? They're taking him to the station. Where are they taking him? You cannot continue to let him treat you like this. <laughs> oh. No, my boyfriend loves me. He just gets angry when I don't respect his wishes. Why did you come if you're not gonna do anything? My face, my arm, my ribs, but I'm okay, really. Sort of. It really hurts when I try to take a breath. No, he didn't mean to hit me that hard. Oh, that hurts. I love him. He doesn't mean it. Maybe I should become a paramedic. I didn't realize all the good you guys do. Pull socks, normal. I've seen so many of these cases, they're all the same story. I'll bet this isn't the first time either. Everything she says is going to be about how he didn't mean to do it and how she doesn't know what got into him. You gotta depress charges, but you probably saved that woman's life. 
Well, you've been here for one year. One full year of being dumped on by uptight medics who tell you where to go, where you can eat, where you can't eat. You've been obedient, conscientious, despite the fact that so many people have been yanking your chain that I'm sure you don't know whether you can think for yourself. Am I painting an accurate enough picture? You know, I've seen thousands of basics come and go. You know, some of them just get off in the thrill of working the third shift, right? But they have no intention of becoming paramedics. But there are others that'll do whatever it takes. Clean vomit out of the back of trucks, work back to back, school, anything. And that is you. This is a star of life. It represents the good work you've done and the good work you're about to do. We're making you an EMTI. Just continue to do what you're doing and keep up the good work. You know what? If I were to script this, it couldn't have come out any better. Well, I hope the police get a hold of this guy and put him away for a while. He sure beat her up bad. <laughs> Bet he was drunk. They're always drunk, you know? Sometimes the women don't even press charges. Can you believe that?